Welcome to the show. I am your host, Sandman, and today I have the most important and highly anticipated unboxing of my very, very short career as a reviewer, but this is probably the most exciting video I will ever make, and this is the highlight of my 16 or 17 years in lock sport. I have a product in front of me that I will be unboxing that has only been given to me. I am the only person that has it at this point. This product is not available on the market as of yet. This is going to be an unboxing and first impressions of the product. The product will be released tomorrow. So the whole world will see it tomorrow and I have an opportunity to buy it tomorrow in limited supply and Everybody will receive it by next Monday or next Tuesday. Meanwhile, I will already be an expert with it, and then I will do my official review next week. What is it, Sandman? It is the Covert Instruments Replicant. It's the Covert Instruments Replicant. Replicant. Nobody knows what the replicant is yet, except for me, because I, I got, I got invited to the Covert Instruments facility, and I took a class on how to use this tool and I'm looking forward to teaching all of you how to use it as well. This is the Replicant by Covert Instruments. That's everything. And this is a first of the kind, first of its own kind, tier one, best of the best. Uh, oh man, this is in its a class in and of itself. This, let's, oh, I can't even, all right, we need to stop talking and we just need to just show you what it is. So we have our sculpting clays here. This product will come with one sculpting clay. And we have our replicant product here. Right here and our ingots right there. I'm sorry if the video is going in and out of being blurry. I'll fix that. We have our case, our ingots, our clamshell. Everything is all self-contained. This is the size of a cigarette box or a box of cigarettes, rather. And we have our spoon, which is multi-purpose. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this is for. So this is for key duplication for many reasons. This is going to be able to duplicate quick set, schleg, any manner of pen tumbler lock design. I, I don't even know, I, I don't see any reason why it won't duplicate dimple locks. Man, I should have asked them that when I was there. So this will duplicate even high security locks such as Schleg Primus and Abloy Protec Level 1, but it will not duplicate anything where there's an interactive element such as the Protec 2 or a Schleg Everest because of the detent uh, on that key. But this thing will, will do, I would say, what, 99% of the keys on the market. So we have our case here and our case contains the clamshell and it contains our rolling pin. Here is the clamshell itself that we will be packing our sculpting clay inside of the clamshell. We have our rolling pin and this is multi-purpose as well. And then we have our case. Let's talk about the rolling pin. So the rolling pin, as it was shown to me, and I'm having to recall a lot of this, the rolling pin is dual purpose. The rolling pin is going to have our baby powder. So this product will not ship with baby powder and it will not ship with a compact lighter. So you will need to purchase baby powder and a lighter on your own. And it was explained to me that they do not want to deal with combustibles being shipped across uh, nationally and they do not want to deal with white powder substances being shipped through the mail. So you will use your spoon to load the baby powder inside of your rolling pin here. And we have extra threads here, so that way if by accident we bump this end here of the thumb turn, that uh, this won't come on unloose too easily and, and spill out our baby powder. But ideally, so what we do is we're gonna take our sculpting clay, and I'm gonna make a whole video review of this. It's just unboxing and first impressions. I'm gonna take the sculpting clay, I'm gonna pack my clam shell here on both sides, and then I'm gonna take my baby powder. Any type of powder will work. 
baby powder works best, I was told, and I would dab a little bit of baby powder on both sides of the clay. So that way, after I've, um, this is actually, yeah, before I take my key and I make my impression. And then I would take my key and I make my impression into the clam. And then I make the mold of my key. And then I remove my key gently. And then what I have is going, I'm gonna have excess clay. And so this clam shell is actually has these beveled cutaways here. So that way I can use my spoon and my spoon has a serration on the side. Has serrations on the side here. That will allow me to, let me make sure I get back into focus, will allow me to use that to cut away at the excess clay. And then I can close this up and I can go through the process of melting my ingots. So it comes with 10 ingots. These ingots can be reusable for as many as up to three to six times and do a better job than I did at opening that. <laughs> I'm just excited and my hands are shaking. So it comes with 10 of these. You melt this in a spoon, but watch this. Someone probably, a keen observer, immediately thought, but Sandman, aren't you gonna burn your fingers holding that? Check this out. Covert Instruments thought of everything. Do you remember the device, the rolling pin that holds the baby powder? This has a portion on the back end that holds your spoon. So now I don't have to worry about burning myself while working with the, I think this is, is it called a Fields metal ingot, is that correct? Fields metal, not fields metal, and that, that's, that's something that you actually earn. Somebody will correct me in the comments, fields metal. Uh, it's, it's a type of uh, ingot that melts at a very low uh, melting point. I think like around 110 degrees. I will know more for my video review. This is just an unboxing first impression. So I melt it and I'd be working over, not over my, my beautiful mat here, but maybe like just like a paper plate or a porcelain plate. And I'm going to take my clamshell and I'm going to pour my melted ingot into the clam. And I don't remember if this was needed or not. Uh, I don't think it was needed that I had to put this back on, but um, I'll wait for the ingot to cool off. I asked a lot of questions and they told me that the, the temperature of the clay really helps bring that temperature of the ingot way down. And so they demonstrated this one time because only one time was needed because it was super successful. So once I pull out the clamshell and then I open up the clamshell, I, I witness them and I will be able to next week pull out the key and the key will have been cast and I can take my spoon here and I can use the spoon to scrape off any excess areas to really kind of clean up the spoon should I need to. Um, and then I can move forward with unlocking the lock. I think this is amazing. I don't think this unboxing is doing any justice to any of this. This is probably one of the coolest products I've seen. This clamshell also has extra spaces in here, not just for storing ingots, but this is really designed for molding your ingots. Yeah, so this is not for storing ingots, but this is for molding. So the idea was after you make a key, if you wanna reuse that metal ingot material, you can, uh, you can then remelt it and pour it into these molds here, and then you can, uh, for here and here, and then you can keep them stored in here. So everything in this whole system is designed to be reusable. Everything in this system is designed to be uh, replaceable. So they do have replacement parts from my understanding. You can buy extra uh, replacements such as the gold ingots and the molding clay for as little as $15. So $15 replacement will get you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 ingots and molding clay. Obviously, if you know uh, a secondary source, you could obviously source these anywhere in the world and not have to utilize uh, the shipping or processes through Covert Instruments for the replacements. So if you 
are working for a three-letter agency or the government and you're on the job Oconus overseas, then you can procure the sculpting clay and the ingots. The only thing not provided again is the baby powder and the lighter. Everything is self-containable. And here is the big catch. This is why this is best of the best, tier one, best in class. This entire setup is going to retail for $90. $90 and you can buy the replacements. It's gonna come with one set of sculpting clay and all the ingots. It's gonna come with everything here that is right here. It's gonna come with all of this for $90. The only thing it's not gonna come with is the tiny big lighter and it's not gonna come with the baby powder and I have extra sculpting clay here that it's not coming with. It's gonna come with one set of sculpting clay, uh, one set of ingots. It's gonna come with everything here for $90. That's incredible. Um, I'm actually missing something. Where did my rolling pin go? <laughs> did it roll off? It rolled away. Hang on one second while I find that. Oh, here it is, the rolling pin. It comes with the rolling pin, obviously. So this, I gotta tell you something. I've been messing around with stuff like this for a long time. I've played with Silly Putty. I've played with Play-Doh. This will be my second time playing with the the uh, the the low the low heat uh, grade uh, metal ingots here. I, I forget the name of these. And this is this is the best I've ever seen. The competition for this. I don't have anything else in my collection. I have uh, I have billeted aluminum clamshells that I've used for experimenting with Play-Doh and I've used for experimenting with Silly Putty, but the only competition where you have everything, where you have a spoon, you have a rolling pin, you have the sculpting clay, where you have everything, those things cost usually around a thousand to $1,500 for an entire self-contained thing. And it comes in a ginormous fishing tackle box. This will all fit in your front left pocket or your, your right pocket or your rear pocket, this will probably fit inside of a pack of cigarettes. Let's put it all together. This is awesome. I, I, I had the opportunity to watch them make a class on this. I had the opportunity to watch them. Uh, um, it was kind of like a tutorial, but it was also like, you know, they asked like a round table, like, you know, what are you guys, what do you, what do y'all think? What are your suggestions? And I just, I was flabbergasted. They just did one demonstration and they made a key work. And I was just like, this is amazing. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Now you could, could be asking, well, Sam, man, I'm not a spy. I don't work for a three letter agency. I'm not even a locksmith. What is this for? This is really, I would have used this not only as a locksmith, but I'm going to use this in everyday life. If you ever come across a broken key, the hardest thing to do is duplicate a broken key. You take a broken key and you pull it out of a door. When I was a locksmith, a lot of people would bring me their broken keys. And is that all of them? Yep, it's all of them. They would bring me their broken keys and you don't have enough for the jaws to bite onto for that broken key. So you're really struggling to make a duplicate of that key. So what I would do now is, now that I have this thing, is I would use this to make a duplicate, a temporary duplicate of that broken key. Alternatively, I almost forgot. The clamshell itself has cutaways, cutouts on the side here, and they're going to put key gauges on each side. And the key gauges will either be double-sided or single-sided. So you can have quick set and schleg key gauges here, and maybe Wiser, Dexter, who knows? Um, there will be something else, maybe best systems, interchangeable core systems will be on the other side. So if you do have a broken key, you could use the key gauge to measure your broken key, and you could then go ahead and make a duplicate that way, or you could take uh, your uh, a key that you're going to be copying and measure the, the depths so that way when you make your duplicate out of the ingots, you can, check, you can check to make sure that the heights are correct before you give the key back to the customer if that's the line of work that you are in. Of course, if you are working as a super secret agent, you are probably... Um, going to be ditching that key. What's great about this is this allows you to only hold on to the customer or the target's key for a period of less than two minutes. I will be able to make a casting of this key in a, in a time frame of less than five minutes. I would say probably two to five minutes. That's my guess. If everything in here was prepped, I would probably roll up to my target or to my customer and I would have this preloaded with 
the uh, molding clay and I would have it preloaded with the ingots here and I would have this everything prepped. I would even have baby powder on this possibly and I'd have it closed so that way the clay doesn't stick to itself. That's the purpose of the baby powder and so that the clay doesn't stick to the key and I would have everything prepped. So I would say you could probably do everything inside of two to five minutes. The demonstration that they showed us, including the, the period of instruction was less than 10 minutes from start to finish. It was amazing. And then I saw him take the key. I saw him take the key and he took this spoon, which is multi-purpose. So the spoon fits into the roller. The spoon pours the ingots. The spoon does so much. The spoon can also be used for pouring the baby powder into the rolling pin but the spoon has that little serration here, the knife serration, and you can use that as like a file to clean up the key before you uh, insert it into the keyway of your desired lock. This whole unit is self-containing and I can place the spoon either on the top or the bottom of this. This is identical in form and function and I can take my lighter and put it on another my apologies, my camera stopped, of course, because this is the most important video I could ever make in my life. So why would iPhone 15 Pro Max work? So self-containing, everything is completely self-containing like that. And you take this rubber band that comes with this unit. Not only is this a rubber band for this, but this is also a super cool bracelet. Hell yeah. And it fits me perfectly. I'm gonna be wearing this every day now, probably in all of my videos. Man, I hope they sell these bracelets separately. Alternatively, man, wouldn't it be cool if they sold these bracelets in karate belt colors? Oh man, that would be such a cool idea if they sold these in karate belt colors. Okay, sorry, I'm geeking out here for a second. You can totally put the spoon here or you could put the spoon here. It doesn't matter whichever side you wanna put that on and then your lighter would fit on the opposite side. You take your rubber band, boom. That is so cool. That is super sexy, super cool. And the ingots, you'll have three ingots already pre prepped inside of the clamshell. So, man, God bless America. This thing is so amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this product. Let me go over some notes that I have. The release date is tomorrow. Tomorrow, there will be a newsletter sent out. I talked to Covert Instruments, my point of contact with Covert Instruments, and I said, when is this being released? How many do you have in stock? They said, it's being released tomorrow. A newsletter will go out to all those that have signed up for a newsletter by putting in their email address on the product that's on the website for the vault. I'm gonna, I'm gonna provide a link in the video description down below, and it's going to have a link to the vault. Of course, I'll have to go back and change that link after tomorrow because it's gonna move from the vault. And you need to go and sign up for email updates if you're watching this on the very first day that this is being released. Here's the reason. They have over, I don't wanna give away numbers here. I think of, of the amount of units that they have purchased, 90% of these units are spoken for. 90% of the units are spoken for. That means when they released an, uh, images of this item of the replicant in the vault on the website, they had thousands of people asking to be notified when this is going to be in stock. So you have several thousand people that are waiting in line for this and 10% will probably be available to anybody that is not already in line for this product. Obviously, they will do restocking fairly shortly within a matter of weeks, if not days. I'm guessing weeks, though. That's probably going to be more uh, accurate. And so these are limited amounts. So make sure you are signed up to be notified. Let me look at my notes here. The spoon fits into the rolling pin. The case is cutouts for the key gauges. The clamshell does not need portholes to displace air. I asked that when I was taking a class or tutorial on how to use this product. It does not need cutouts. However, if you wanna make cutouts, you can. You can use the spoon to make cutouts in the clamshell, but it doesn't need to displace the air. The, the heat from the, migot, uh, from the metal of the ingot displaces the air uh, effectively enough. It was explained to me in a very scientific manner that went right over my high school education uh, understanding. You could reuse the ingots and reform them with the clam, and it comes with 10 ingots, comes with one pack of clay, you only need to purchase the baby powder and the lighter and the replacement refill kits will be $15.
So the, the lighter I purchased is a mini Bic lighter that fits inside of here, and I think it fits perfectly. That's what I would recommend. I just, I don't even know what else to say because I'm the only person in the world that has this. I didn't, it's not like I was able to go watch somebody else's video to prepare for this. So uh, that's, this is the best I can do, folks. It's the best I can do. That's all I have for today. This is my unboxing and it's my first impressions. Stay tuned for a full review of this product and a how-to coming to you next week, probably sometime Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I want this product to get released. I want people to get their hands on it. Covert Instruments is going to have a how-to video that will be released with this product tomorrow. And so today's Wednesday, I think. It will be released tomorrow on Thursday. I'm sorry, my camera's shaking. So they'll have a how-to video that will be re released with this product. Everybody will know how to use this product before the product arrives at your house. You don't have to wait for my review. However, if you are skeptical, skeptical about this product, don't be because it's the best product on the market that does this. I can tell you that much. And I would say if you're skeptical about this, you can just wait till my review and I'll give you my honest opinion. My honest opinion right now is that this is something that I would immediately jump on and buy. Um, I don't think I need to buy two of these. I like to buy two of things. Sometimes one I can use and one for review. This thing is is built like a freaking tank and it, it comes with consumables that I can replace. So there's no need to purchase two of them. I don't think that the urgency is there to buy two of these, but I do believe that there is an urgency to buy one of these while you can. This thing is super cool, super cool. I love that it fits in the side the size of a of a uh, of a cigarette pack of cigarettes. I don't know if it actually does. I asked them, and they said, you know, um, uh, we we never really tried it. We just noticed that it's the same size. It's also very similar, to the same size as a deck of cards. I wonder, man, I wonder. I can't wait for my review because I'll have those, those I'll have all those answers. I'll buy a pack of cigarettes, and I've got decks of cards in the house. Uh, we'll see what we can hide this thing inside of. I think that is super cool. So this is the replicant by Covert Instruments. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited about this product? What are you gonna do with this product? How are you gonna use it? What do you think this thing could be concealed inside of? I think this thing is super cool. Kinda looks like a, dare I say a flashlight? I don't know, I've seen flashlights like that, right? Well, let me know in the comments down below, what are your thoughts? What do you wanna see in the review? I'm going to be definitely making my first key, a quick set key for my quick set lock here. Uh, so I can have a duplicate key there. And I think my next key will actually probably be a Schleg Primus, a Schleg Primus. So we will talk about the do's and don'ts and the cans and won'ts. Um, I know that it will not duplicate keys that have interactive elements on them, but it will duplicate everything else. In fact, shoot, I really need to try this thing on a Medico. I need to do this on Medico and I need to do this on multi-lock. I see a lot of video reviews of this product. I see me doing a lot of casting moving forward. I have 10 ingots. I have two packs of clay here. Let's use them all up. God bless America. God bless Covert Instruments. And let me, like guys, if you like this video, if you found this informative, if you found this helpful, if this helped you distract you just for 20 minutes, hit that like button and subscribe and help me get to 5,000 followers. I would really appreciate it. And we are going to do a super huge giveaway once I hit the big five zero zero zero. That's all I have for today, folks. Remember, I'm not rich, I'm irresponsible, and I'm just a businessman blessed with many friends. God bless Covert Instruments for sending me this product for review. I'm looking forward to review it. I'll catch you guys next time. Mr. Sandman, bring us Thank you.